Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on machine learning. I'm Sumit Agrawal, a software engineer at Archie.ai and today I will be showing you how you can use a TensorFlow API to detect objects from a live video feed. So what is a TensorFlow? TensorFlow is a deep learning API created by Google and it has uh, many built-in machine learning models that you can incorporate in your project and build your own machine learning model when perform various uh, classification and prediction uh, with it. Uh, object detection uh, is a technique uh, where uh, given an image or a video, uh, it is able to identify key uh, features from it and uh, tell you what it is, such as it can be a kite or a person or a water bottle. Uh, for example, uh, I will show you. Okay, so for example, this is an image, and uh, in the, the, in this image, the the TensorFlow API is able to identify that there is a person in this image and a flying a kite. So uh, today, I will be showing you instead of this static image, I will be giving a live uh, video feed, and uh, the my model will be able to identify uh, objects from it in real time okay uh, so get, uh, uh, getting started with the tutorial uh, i will be coding in python uh, 3.6 uh, since tensorflow supports uh, python 3.6 and if python is not installed on your desktop you can download it on from the anaconda and uh, uh, yeah python comes pre-installed with anaconda okay uh, so I will show you uh, the TensorFlow API. Uh, you can uh, find it on the, uh, it's on a GitHub repository. Uh, it's under the TensorFlow uh, repository of, uh, yeah, ob object detection. In, in that, you can see in the object detection, there are a bunch of uh, files and you can just download these files, okay? Uh, once you have downloaded these files, there are uh, particular uh, libraries uh, which you have to install with it. So uh, here are some of the libraries uh, you need. So let's go to the installation and uh, it will show you all the installation. Okay, so uh, you need uh, uh, the TensorFlow library. So depending upon uh, if, you, if your desktop has a GPU com compatibility, uh, you can install the TensorFlow GPU. Uh, it will make your processing faster. Uh, I'll be using CPU uh, TensorFlow. So I'm installing the TensorFlow CPU version. Uh, after this, uh, uh, after this, you need other uh, libraries such as the Pillow, the Jupyter, and the Mat uh, Plot Lib. Uh, you can all install it uh, using the Anaconda terminal, uh, which comes with the Anaconda. Uh, files uh, one last thing uh, one more thing with this uh, you will be required is the uh, CV2 uh, library uh, which will be uh, doing the image processing uh, from your uh, live camera and one last thing you will be uh, you you will require uh, is the proto uh, proto buff uh, files okay so you can find it on on the uh, it's also uploaded on github uh, you can just type github uh, slash google slash proto buff slash releases and uh, once the page is loaded you can go down and depending upon which uh, operating system you are using and which uh, language you're using you can just download uh, the file i i'm da i'm working on python and i'm uh, working on windows so i'll be downloading this once it's downloaded uh, you can just uh, open the you can just extract the files and you can see it's it's under the bin folder okay uh, so once it's downloaded you just have to go uh, to the models master uh, file where your object detection uh, folder is there okay and then you just have to type in this particular command This will enable the proto buff uh, function functionality for your TensorFlow uh, for object detection. You just have to open uh, the command prompt uh, and uh, go to the 
uh, to the object detection folder which you have downloaded and you just have to uh, type in this command and it's uh, and if you are able to uh, install it without any error you're good to go okay so uh, let's go with the coding okay so uh, here is the uh, all the files which we need and uh, I will be uh, I will be opening the uh, opening the Jupyter notebook where I will run the code so again uh, I will be uh, using the anaconda ter terminal and just navigate to the folder where your file is and just type Jupyter notebook So uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, uh, page will open and you can see here is the object detection tutorial uh, folder which is provided by the uh, TensorFlow API. This is all the pre uh, predefined code which is already there in the TensorFlow API and you can just directly use it. Okay. Uh, yeah, one second. Yeah. So so you can see uh, this uh, there are uh, so I will just run the run this code so you can just click cell and uh, run all so by the time it's running I will explain to you all the, uh, the code so here it is just uh, importing all the required uh, libraries okay and after that uh, it's basically we need require a, a data set and it's using a Coco data set so what is a Coco data set you can find it on a particular uh, on this web uh, website uh, called mscoco.org coco uh, data set is consist of around uh, more than 300 objects uh, which uh, your tensorflow uh, api will uh, take in and it will train on that objects and if it uh, and when an input image or a video is given to the tensorflow uh, it will identify uh, it will try to find if there is any uh, similar uh, object from among the 300 objects in, in your image or in your video so the uh, the objects which are there in, in this uh, coco uh, database is the uh, like animals or uh, chairs or bicycles or uh, human beings so you just have to you just have to download okay so uh, you just have to download the uh, data set and it will extract this code will extract the data set uh, since uh yeah since uh yeah so it will download uh code and then i will basically load the model into the memory and this is the code uh which uh calls the tensorflow api and runs on the uh database and along with that i will be putting in text uh test images so these are the uh static images um which is there uh which is there in my folder uh for now i have just inputted a couple of static images so you can see a static image in this there is uh it's able to detect that this is a dog with a particular percentage and yeah okay and this is the same image where it is able to detect uh, a person's and kite in this image so this was basically uh, the predefined code which is uh, available on the TensorFlow. Uh, what I will be doing is I will be taking the same code and I will be changing it so that it can uh, take in uh, the live uh, video feed uh, from, a, from a camera and able to detect objects from it. So you can just simply uh, download this file as a Python. Okay. And once it's, uh, it's downloaded, uh, you can just simply uh, open uh, any editor if you if you like uh, it can be sublime or it can be uh, python gui or pycharm uh, i'm using python uh, pycharm so this is the same code and uh, i will be adding a uh, few extra code uh, so that it can uh, take in uh, the camera input and can uh, perform the object detection on that uh, input so in the in the starting uh, some of the libraries are extra I will be adding is the cv2 library as i told you it is for the uh, it, this library will be used to uh, access your camera uh, or your uh, laptop camera okay and this code is basically 
it will decide which camera uh, you want to activate so if if you are if you have multiple uh, cameras on your desktop or your laptop like a front facing or back facing uh, you can uh, toggle uh, the cameras through this code so uh, i'm using my front camera and uh, so i'm i have inputted zero so if you if you want to use uh, some other uh, camera which is attached with your laptop you can just change the num number from 0 to 1 or 2 and see which camera gets activated so after this uh, all the this all, all of this code is the same uh, i have i have uh, just commented out the uh, extraction and downloading of the data set since i have already downloaded it and extracted it so you can also uh, uh, comment this uh, code out so that uh, your code is faster um, all this code is same same as loading uh, the data set and then uh, this is the main tensorflow uh, code which I showed you uh, in this uh, you had uh, I was uh, giving input uh, the image uh, static images as an input so instead of that um, I'm giving a live video feed that will be keep uh, running it till we uh, we want it to run. So I just uh, added uh, for unlimited loop. So I just added a while true, and then at the end, this is the uh, this this code for was to take the static uh, Im uh, image input, and uh, so we don't uh, we don't need it anymore since we are not using static input and we are just uh, we are using we will be using uh, the camera and so here the the cv2 uh, file uh, code will um, open a window size of 400 cross 400 that will be shown uh, that will be shown i will sh i will show you uh, uh, in, in some time okay this this code will basically open a 400 cross 400 uh, box in which you can see uh, w w what your camera is showing and then uh, if you want uh, if you want you can uh, escape it uh, by pressing the q button okay so uh, once you have made these changes uh, you are uh, ready to uh, go with the live video okay so let's get back to your uh, anaconda terminal and uh, you just have to uh, switch to yeah so I'm sh just shutting down the uh, the notebook pi. Uh, I I don't need it anymore. So okay. So yeah. Now uh, to run this uh, this uh, Python code uh, using uh, TensorFlow on your uh, on your desktop, you have to activate TensorFlow. To activate TensorFlow, you just have to uh, type in activate TensorFlow, and uh, after a few seconds. Yeah, TensorFlow will be activated. Uh, you can see. Oh yeah. So once it's activated, you can see your uh, a TensorFlow uh, word is written. That means your TensorFlow is activated. Okay. Uh, after this, I will be running this code. Uh, but before doing that, I will be needing the webcam uh, to access mine. Uh, so therefore, uh, I will be shutting the webcam for a few minutes. Uh, but you can still see my screen and can hear my voice so uh, just a few seconds I will just deactivate it okay so uh, I will now just run the code uh, to run the code you can just type python and uh, the name of your python file that is the whatever you have and uh, so this is the same one it will take some time to pre-process the data set it will load it and it will uh, it will load uh, and it will train the tensorflow uh, api and once it is done uh, it will activate the camera uh, and you can see uh, the camera uh, so this is a, a little uh, laggy because i'm i'm doing a live stream as well as i'm doing this so uh, depending and it also depends upon how powerful your uh, cpu is so in, in this uh, box this is 400 cross 400 which I defined you can see it's able to detect me as a person and then uh, if you want you can uh, see uh, other objects like uh, this is 
it's able to detect a bottle yeah so you can see it's able to detect a bottle if you hold it in a right proper position it will able to detect that or else if you want uh, you can see uh, let's try our phone uh, yeah see so it is uh -huh, yeah so it's able to detect it with a good uh, accuracy of like around 88 percent and uh, you can see it's able to detect other uh, objects uh, behind me like my chair or any other stuff so uh, okay i will just quit this press q to close it and yeah that's it okay now getting back i'm just on the uh live video so can you see me okay uh, so uh, as you can see uh, by just writing a, uh, by simply using the tensorflow api you are able to uh, perform uh, object detection on uh, on on your live video uh, you can give any kind of video to it or any kind of images to it and it will be able to detect a particular objects from it um, so this is all the libraries uh, or the apis that the tensorflow provides and tensorflow is a very strong uh, machine learning um, uh, api uh, which uh, you can use it and if you want uh, if you want you can uh, also check the tensorflow documentation where um, there are many um, uh, other apis that is that is provided by tensorflow you can play around with uh, with it and check uh, how you can build uh, your own and build your own machine learning model uh, so uh, this was about the object detection um, uh, apart from this i have given tutorials on um, uh, i've I previously have given tutorials on building a recommendation model uh, using uh, keras is another is another machine learning uh, library used in Python and also have given a tutorial on building a generative model a basic generative model that can create your own digit uh, images digit images and uh, we have uh, we have uh, along with that we have all uh, we have all uh, we have also uh, given a lot of uh, other tutorials and if you want you can check out our YouTube channel and if you uh, if you if you want to uh, continue you can like and subscribe to our channel so you can get can continue to get more uh, of this tutorial videos uh, along with that uh, if you want to check out my work um, you can uh, sign up at the archie.ai uh, you can see it's a it's a company where it's able to analyze your business data and if you want to follow uh, follow us on instagram uh, uh, it's the tag is archie.ai and that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.